Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to Old RPG Gaming. We are playing Final Fantasy XII and the first thing you're going to notice is that we are not where we left off. Now, I started recording the next episode and I actually had a power cut midway through that episode. So, the piece that you are missing is where we were in the waterways. We just met up with Balthier and Fran. We've gone through the waterways, got to the end, and at that point, we ran into Imperial Guards, but got placed under arrest, and chucked down here in the Nalbina Dungeons. So you haven't missed too much story-wise. Um, it did take a little while to get through the waterways, and there was a boss at the end of it, but other than that, you haven't missed much. Um, to avoid future things like that, what I'm going to do is at the start of every episode, like as we're progressing through it, I'm going to use slot 2 to save our progress within the episode. And then that way, um, if we have any problems like that in the future, I can always go back and redo it. Uh, the problem I had using one save is I'd saved it up to this point, and obviously I can't go back and show you, but that's that. Let's get on with this episode. We're in a pretty cool place at the moment, actually. Um, we're looking for a way to escape the dungeons. He was defenseless. You and yourself were arrogating. Something stinks in here, all right. I've changed my mind. This is no dungeon, it's a sty. I said you're the one that stinks, Hamshanks. Hear me now? You're all right, Vaughn. Okay, so we've been chucked into this horrible little pit, but although we have no equipment because we are in prison, we can still use our magic, which is gonna fuck them all up. So let's do that. Now we're out of MP, now we get on the attack again. So this Let's Play has been going pretty well. Uh, we've been leveling up and getting loads of loot and 
Everything's been going pretty good. The only setback was the power cut that made me lose the waterway episode. But other than that, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I hope you guys are too. Great. They just don't give up, do they? <sighs> now is looking like a good time for us to leave. Through the oubliette, there's a way out. Only... Only you sense the mist. Then we need weapons. What did you call me? Say that again. What? You couldn't hear? I merely said that a lot of you are incompetent fools. If you've the Sky Pirate in your hands, where is he? You'd have done better, Bagamnon. By your own words, it was the Imperial Army who caught this Sky Pirate of yours. We'd done your job for you. We don't require the assistance of filthy head others. The Empire will restore order here. Eh? What's that you say now? Maybe I'll wet my blade on you before I kill Barthir. That's enough, Bagamnon. <laughs> hey, judge. Judge? Hmm. The self-proclaimed guardians of law and order in Arcadia. They're the elite guard of House Solidor, which effectively makes them the commanders of the Imperial Army. If you ask me, they're more executioners than judges. Not a friendly lot, at any rate. What are they doing here? The Emperor is willing to overlook race for his more talented servants. However, those that do not show respect will receive none in kind. Your Honor! You travel freely through our lands because the Emperor wills it. I correct. <sighs> Where is the Captain? We have him in solitary, Your Honor. We're ready to begin our interrogation. This does not concern you, Bounty Hunter. Uh, he's in here somewhere. Find him! Wadji, that way! He's uh, going this uh, way! Uh, what's that? Spider time for the hare to follow the fox. Uh, huh? The magic's binding the door to the Obliat are quite strong. Too strong even for my talents. That's why we'll get them to open it for us. How is going deeper into this What's place? What's wrong? You don't trust her. Fiera's nose is a sharp. If she says there's a way out, there's a way out. Okay guys, so let's oh Look. Ah, the prison repository of rested relics and raiments. So our things are in here? That's what I said. <sighs> Good, we got our equipment back and we also got a map as well. 
so let's go ahead and save it uh, on the second slot just to be careful. Uh, we got all our ship back as well. Okay, so this is what I was going to say to you. This is where the third of the four urns that you can't open for, uh, regarding the Zodiac Spear. I don't know which one it is, so we're going to leave them all closed, but it's these three opposite the crystal in the prison. So do not open these urns. Two of them you actually can open. One you're not supposed to open if you want the Zodiac Spear. But as I don't know which one it is, I'm just going to leave all three closed just to be safe because I really do want to get the Zodiac Spear later in the game. So where this now takes us should be, if I remember rightly, the Berherium Passage, or we should be close to it anyway. and cut purses down here. I've had my fill of chains. Let's tread lightly, shall we? Okay, so we can't actually get arrested again. It doesn't matter if they see us. They're just going to want to fight us. Now, this is actually a really good place to train uh, because you can chain up everything down here as an Imperial soldier. So you can just go ahead and chain up down here and steal stuff like potions, um, and they got other useful stuff on them as well, so we're gonna do a little bit of that. Again, they're not strong enough down here to actually kill us. They're just um, strength in numbers is the only thing that we gotta be careful of. ourselves a six chain. Uh, we can actually, I just was thinking that, 
We can actually pick up the items in here, it's just the ones by the save crystal that I'm not sure about. I know it's one of the three that you can't pick up, so we can pick all this shit up. I'm hoping by the end of this as well, we're going to have a whole ton of license points uh, ready to upgrade our equipment. We got two hits on him and stole his ship before he even knew he was there. There we go. Okay, probably smart to heal first. usually get my mobile phone go off in the middle of a recording. That really pisses me off when that happens, but it's my fault for not leaving it on silent, so I apologize for that, guys. God damn my phone. Yeah, we just managed to steal his ship before he died. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Ourselves up a little bit. And let's carry on. Oh, am I seeing something? Why is it dry right? Okay, we'll take this. Not a blast. Uh, this could be interesting because we got a three on three. Oh no, there's, the third one hasn't quite seen us, that's lucky. That is quite lucky, but... Come on, I want to try and steal this shit. No. Wild chain now, which is good. Uh, we're here, we take this one out, and then I think we're nearly at the end of this little bit anyway. chain item. <clears throat> they go up again and then again. Right, so let's take a look at the map. Where are we actually missing right now? Hmm. It looks like we've gone over the whole thing, so... I'm sure. Let's keep looking. OK, 
can't get out those doors. I got a feeling it's in the middle. I remember it being in the middle. Oh, items. Here we go. Let's waste no time, let's get down there. You have grown very thin, Bosch. Less than a shadow. Less than a man. Sentenced to death, and yet you live? Why? To silence Hondor. How many times must I say it? Is that all? Why not ask Vane himself? Is he not one of your masters? <sighs> We've caught a leader of the insurgents. She's being brought from Rabinasta, the woman Amalia. Huh? Who could that be? Such a faithful hound to cling so to a fallen kingdom. Better than throwing it away. Throwing it away, as you threw away our homeland. Who's there? This the place. The mist is flowing through this room. It must be going somewhere. Hmm. You, you're no Imperials. Please, you must get me out. It's against my policy to speak with the dead. Especially when they happen to be Kingslayers. I did not kill him. Is that so? Huh. Glad to hear it. Please, get me out. For the sake of Dalmasca. Dalmasca? What do you care about Dalmasca? Everything that's happened is because of you! Everyone that's died, every single one, even my brother. You killed my brother! Quiet. The gods were here. I'm dropping it. Pirates without a sky. Spare us your quiddities. Yeah, but, but he's a... A traitor, I know. Stay here and fight if you want. If you can walk, let's go. You're taking him with us? We could use another sword arm. And you have it. So Bash has joined the party. Remember, Bosch actually did kill uh, Vaughn's brother, Rex. He 
He's a really useful member of the, the group. He doesn't look all that much now because he looks like shit, but he's going to be very helpful to us. You'll wait and see, guys. So we can pick all this shit up down here. Lots and lots of monies, which is good because we've got a little shop coming up over here as well. Uh, let's save it. And then we can take a little look down here. Let's see what he's actually got for sale. Uh, broadsword. It wouldn't help anymore for Varn. A longsword, however, would. So we're going to buy a longsword for Varn. He is able to equip it as well, so we might as well do that. Uh, Fran is currently holding the short bow already. Let's take a look at their defensive stuff. Uh, Bangor equips Libra. What else do we have? Potions and stuff. We got some new magic. No, nope, just so I'm blind. We're going to buy these gambits because they're quite handy later on. Just going to buy a couple of Phoenix Downs. We don't need any more potions. We got shitloads of potions. <coughs> So all this stuff actually would really help Vaughn. Um, and let's take a look at our license points. We've done quite a lot of fighting, so we should have quite a lot of license points. 87 for Vaughn. Right, let's go down to his actual equipment stuff. Um, we want to unlock heavy armor. Shields. Probably light armor too. And we go for heavy armor too. That'll do for now. Unless there's anything up here for 10 that we can take. Nope. Um, Let's switch over to Balthier. <clears throat> He's now got white magic as well, which is handy. Uh, might as well keep him black magic as well. And let's just head down here and see what else he needs. He doesn't really need anything else. He's pretty set. That'll do for Balfia. Yeah. Let's take a look at Fran. Fran usually goes uh, for bows, so we'll leave it like that. She's already got access to light armor and heavy armor one. That's fine. We can leave that all how it is for a minute. Uh, we will set up a gambit for Balthier. We'll do when the ally's HP is less than 50%. Use a what is it? potion. Uh, we're going to turn that on. And now, now we have this one. We can go ally HP under 30%. Use... Well, we could probably go Potion for under 30% and then change the 50% to Cure. Okay. That's all good and done. Now we can buy some shit and equip our new stuff. So, uh, Leather Shield for Vaughn.
bronze armor, all three of them can take bronze armor, so... But we don't have enough money to do it at the moment. We buy one for Van. Remember, we've probably got some stuff that we can sell in a minute anyway. Okay, so Vaughn is actually pretty set. So we don't need this broadsword anymore. We'll have a cap. We'll get rid of the two pointy hats. We don't need them. We'll have a helm. We don't need. We don't need the clothing. All the chrome levers. So we can get rid of the wrap help, lever jam, fire stones. We don't need any of this shit. This is all just uh, loot. You can definitely see why it's worth uh, stealing though. Like these demon eyeballs, they were stolen stolen from someone that we were fighting in the waterway, like an imp-looking thing. And yeah, rather than just kill them, I stole every time. So they. You know, the loot is money. New bizarre goods available as well. I drop set, we might as well just take it. And now we can get some more armor for these guys, so. Let's go. Two bronze armor. Two bronze hell. That actually works out just about right. We had just enough money to do it. Uh, we can now sell all their old shit as well. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's just check. Bronze helm, bronze armor. He's got his gun, his shot, his armor. Arrow, bow, armor. Good. We're all good guys, right? Uh, we're gonna switch, switch the circuit board out. So let's head up here, do that, get the door open, and then we'll be all set for the next episode. I know we gotta change the fuse, I can't remember where the other one is. Oh, there we go, he gave it to us. <laughs> We got a little bit of light. I think that makes us just about ready to go through the door and do the next part. Oh shit, we gotta open it first. So use a little bit of power opening the door is what he was saying, which is no problem. We actually want that to happen anyway, and these battery mimics are draining the power. Hey, who 
Ooh, turn out the lights. One of those? I've heard of these. Mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. They gorge themselves on the stuff till there's naught left. So, um, what happens then? Lights out, and it's worse in the dark. Much worse. So, let them get too close to one of those conduits, and they'll suck it dry. But don't worry, it'll give the energy back if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking. Okay then guys, so basically these mimics drain the power. If it drops below a certain percentage, the undead come out. And the good thing about the undead is you can target them with healing magic. So check this out. Healing magic directly attacks them. Make short work of them, and they do drop some awesome stuff as well. So, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and do a little bit of grinding, just let the power drop down. I won't be going to do any more of the story until the next episode, but... I do want to let the power drop down, gain up some levels, get some more money, do all that awesome stuff. You'll be able to see when you come back for the next episode. Uh, hit like on this one if you've enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it. I do apologize that we uh, missed a little bit due to a power cut. I can go ahead and save it here now. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed it, hit like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Cheers. Also guys, if you want to get your own channel art or logo personally done for you, get in touch with the graphics designer that done my channel art, the uh, Skype address is on the screen.